Okay, for this lesson, we'll be doing some uh, lens light ray practice questions. Okay, so uh, so there are some of uh, general rules. Okay, make sure we make use of three light rays to obtain the solution. Okay, the three light rays is light ray parallel to the principal axis that will be reflected towards the focal point. Light ray passing through the center of the lens that will be just a straight light ray. And light ray passing through a focal point before reaching the lens that will be reflected towards the parallel to the principal axis. Okay, typical question would involve uh, drawing light rays to obtain the location and the type of the image, but however it's possible to give you other information such as uh, where the image is and type of image so as to work your way back to locate the position of the objects or lenses or even to find the focal point or focal lens. So let's just do some questions that's not that typical. Okay, so right now the following shows a full-scale diagram for a thin converging lens to project a sharp image of an object O on the screen S. So you need to be able to pick out uh, keywords in this case, sharp. Okay, it means that the image is actually at the screen. Okay, so it actually give you the location of the image, just only that you do not know how tall. So right now is that complete the ray diagram to deduce the focal length of the lens and the height of the image. So there are three light rays. In this case, actually the most useful light ray for this case would be the light ray that passes through the center of the lens, starting from O to the center of the lens, and eventually it will reach the image. So this is actually the light ray. But you do know that the image falls on the screen S, so actually you do know this is actually where the image is. Then the next thing is that since you know that this is where the image will be, then the next light ray that you draw is the one that is parallel to the principal axis. So you parallel the principal axis. Okay. But you actually do not know how to draw, okay, because you do not know where's the focal uh, point of the lens, but uh, you do not have to worry because the light ray after passing through the lens will go towards the image. So you just only need to draw this another light ray. And with this light ray, actually you have already really identified where the focal point is and you can actually from here measure what is the focal length of the lens. Okay. The next question, the height of the image. Since this is the radial image and and uh, which means that this is the image location, which means that the image is actually just this. So if you want to find out what is the height of the image, you just measure this thing. This question actually shows you a ray of from a distant object brought to a focus uh, by the a converging lens on the screen S. Again, um, the word distance actually indicates you that the object is at infinity, the distance. And the word focus means that the image actually falls on this screen. So how does the figure show that the object is a long way from the lens? Okay, it simply is just that the incident light rays uh, are parallel to the each other. Okay, complete the ray diagram to determine the height of the image. And since we know that the height, uh, the image is actually at the screen S, and what you simply need to know do is that uh, to make use of the uh, three light rays. But in this case, actually, there's just only one light ray that you can make use of. That's again the center of the lens. Okay, so you just only need to draw one light ray that is parallel to the rest of the light ray. Okay, this is very important because this is. Uh, the object is actually at a very uh, long distance, so all light ray must be parallel. But this is not the light ray that you will draw. You will want to draw the direction of the light ray, but it must pass through the center of the lens. Okay, this is not that quite center. Okay, so you should shift it slightly towards the center, and actually roughly this would be where the image would be. Okay, so this, if you want to determine height of the image, this would be the height of the image. Okay, the last part, uh, without drawing any additional ray, mark F on the figure to indicate the position of the focal point. Okay, remember that object at infinity means that the image will be at the focal length. Okay, it will be at the focal length. So, but the focal point is at the principal axis of the lens. So, this would be your focal point. Okay, right now let's look at this question. So, you have object O. And a sharp image, which means that this is where the image is formed on the screen. 
So draw one light ray from the object to the image to locate the position. Okay, again out of the three light rays, um, you'll find that see, this time round there's no lens. So uh, what you simply need to do is to use again uh, the center light ray, which join from, you know that the center light ray will start from O and eventually end up at I. So it just only, but the center light ray will be a straight, just a straight line. And you know that the light ray will pass through the center of the lens. So actually this indicates where the lens is. And once you have the lens and you just uh, label L, it is not, uh, quite easy to obtain the where the principal focus and label it F by drawing a second light ray that is parallel. And since parallel light ray would go towards the principal focus, but however we do not know where is the principal focus, we do know that you will go to image eventually. So you just draw. And over here, this would be the principal focus and label it as F. Okay, this last question is actually pretty challenging. So right now you use a converging lens to focus the sun's ray. Okay, a uh, sun is being very far, so it's considered to be infinity. So as you can see, it is parallel to the each other, the light ray. So Okay, to focus on sun ray to some wood shavings to attempt to start a fire and F is the focal point of the lens. They want you to mark and X the position where the wood shaving should be placed. So it is what it's asking is actually or where does the light ray all concentrate after passing through the lens. Beginning student may just be very tempted to say that well the light ray will just all go to the focal point of the lens. But actually it's not true. Okay, uh, it is because the light rays are not parallel to the principal uh, focus. Uh, sorry, principal axis. So, and in this case, actually, you should draw your principal axis first. Okay. So, draw your principal axis. How do we draw the principal axis? Because we know that it will actually pass through the focal point, and it is perpendicular to the lens. So, you just draw a line that is perpendicular to the lens and passes through the F, so which means that it's this line. So this is also this is perpendicular and it passes through F. Next, okay, you draw a line. Uh, your uh, you know that object in infinity means that the image will be at focal length. Again, it is not at focal point, but it's just at focal length. So you need to draw uh, sort of like a, a imaginary screen where the line uh, where the image will fall. Okay, where all the light rays will converge. So just draw a line that is again perpendicular and to this uh, principal axis and at the focal point and this would be your uh, where it should your uh, image will fall. The last thing that you will be drawing is a light ray that is parallel, okay, that is uh, incoming that is parallel, okay, and passes through the center of the lens. Okay, remember center of lens is where the lens is and uh, your principal axis in the side. So what it means is that the light ray will pass through here and since it passes through the center of lens it will just go straight and eventually it will reach and since we know combined with the knowledge that the object the image will be forming at uh, at a focal length so this is where the uh, all the light ray will be passing through and this will be the X. Okay what it means is that the light ray uh, over here will just go straight through, but the rest of the light ray will be focusing on at this point. Okay, so this will be the point X. Okay, so that's all for uh, the practice question.